What's up guys? A loud cheer for verses. I mean, I can't shout here in the studio, but I've been told that hearts that beat for the same cause create the loudest cheers. So what is the rundown for today? First up, we have a quick comparison for you. Now that Samsung has four options to choose from in their M series, I feel like that the M portfolio is building up to be a great basket to pick fruits from. But yes, it's still four different products to choose from priced apart, yet very close. So that's the story number one for today. Story number two is the continuation of another story from one of the recent episodes of Versus. We told you where to go if you break your Android device. Today, we show you where to go with your Apple devices. And story number three is a very good feel-good story. Yes, I'm great with wordplay. I'm also great at giving cues for graphics. For example, Pandeji, mera name super please. Also, Pandeji, cue in the bumper in three, two, one. So of course, I will start with pricing because Samsung has conveniently named the devices in order of increasing price. So the M40 will cost you about 20,000. The M30 will cost you around 15,000. The M20 will cost you around 10,000. And seeing the pattern, if you're thinking the M10 must be 5,000, you are wrong. It's about 7,000. But that's the point too. Samsung's name and genuinely good phones for the price. I mean, you can get whichever device falls in your budget. But let me tell you the most striking features of each. So if that appeals to you, you can maybe pay a little bigger EMIs. So you'll get the M10 if you're absolutely parched for budget, but you'll get three gigs of RAM, expandable storage of up to 512 gigs, and a large 3400 mAh battery. When you graduate to the M20, you get a faster processor, uh, but don't make that the judging criteria. You get a 5000 mAh battery, dual cameras, one being wide angle in fact. Graduating to the M30, you will start getting you know some great specs. So 6 gigs of RAM, triple cameras in the back and get this, a super AMOLED display. So expect you know enjoying watching whatever content you watch. By the time you get to the M40, you will get the punch hole display. So you can fool people that you have the S9. I'm just kidding. But you also get great camera specs. In fact, the main sensor shall be a 32 megapixel snapper with an aperture of f1.7 with tons and tons of camera features. So there you go. Two ways to choose which M series Samsung phone to get. Welcome back after the break to Versus, guys. And just like we discovered Yantra for our Android devices, we wanted to figure out where to get our Apple devices serviced. So we went chatty with the people behind Cafe Tresor. Check it out in our favorite segment, Meanwhile. Hey guys, welcome back to another Tuesday tech episode of Versus. And not you guys, I'm going to explain context to him. So this is Shorre from Cafe Tresor. Hi, Shorre. Hi. So the context for today is I did an episode on where should people go if they want to get their Android phones repaired if they're post warranty. And of course, I got in a lot of questions because there are a lot of apparently rich people who have Apple products and they said, where do we go if we want to get our Apple products repaired? Mm -hmm. Where should these people go, Shari? So Apple as a product is just not a product and experience. So we do not uh, try and just sell you an iPhone. We try and sell you the entire the 360 90, degree yeah. solution, which is all from store to after sale. So this is a you know new uh, new concept which is which we have uh, brought to the table and to the entire uh, scheme of Apple mm -hmm. which is a cafe resort where you know it's a, it's a cafe plus a service center plus 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 uh, where you can come come here to uh, continue to work as well as uh, engage with different um, experiences that we have curated uh, in the store. But Trezor already has a lot of chains all exactly. across, I've already seen it, but mm -hmm. why settle up on CP, let's say, as the mothership? Oh, we wanted to uh, set up a, a cafe resort in a place where a lot of working professionals go to work. Oh. So CP being a, a hub where, sure. where a lot, most of, you know, a lot of people come to work and they're the ones who are always uh, running against time. They don't have time for True. to get their product uh, service or repaired. So we thought that if we put up this in a place where you know, people can come to get their product service, but at the same time continue to work uh, was, was the entire idea. Uh, 
impressed me much, but uh, I really want you to tell people about this particular table and why I am sitting on this table. So, this particular table uh, is uh, a co-working uh, table. We want, we, we, you know, if you come… No, you are still not saying the keyword that hooked me in. What is so special about this table? What is so special about this table? No, you told me <laughs> this is absolutely free to work, free for anyone, just walk in, you don't have to be an Apple customer. Oh, I do not know co-working means uh, to pay. Uh, for us, it's all it's all. Uh, so now you are showing off by the way, so <laughs> now this is just becoming badass show off. But that's very cool, I mean thinking of, you. so basically you don't have to be an Apple customer, mm -hmm. you don't have to do anything at all with Cafe Trezor. Right. And for the first six months, what you are saying is, if I am in CP hmm. with let's say not even 100 rupees to spare and sit at some other cafe, I can come and sit here and work. 100%. You can come and sit uh, sit here and uh, work and you know what, we are looking, uh, we're looking to attract more, more uh, I would say professionals or engineers who could who could help us or who could you know collaborate with us to to make this space into a better uh, place as well as you know make it into a innovation hub for retail for retail tech. But we'll have to eventually talk about Apple and its service. So how right. has that partnership been? Oh, so uh, it wouldn't have been possible if this uh, wasn't uh, an Apple uh, service point because uh, uh, as I said, we need to have a lot of customers walking mm -hmm. in and Apple uh, and the Apple customers are you know the most premium are and also the, the ones who keep coming back and also the ones who like to be associated with brand and they, they understand uh, that when they buy an iPhone it's just not uh, buying uh, it's not buying a hardware they have they, they know that we're buying it because there will be an after sales support yes, which is which is very very robust and uh, and uh, and a good place to come to get their product service so, is there any other angle to it wherein, let's say, I can't walk into the store, anything else that can happen through Trezor? Um, well, we have uh, all, all, all Apple uh, programs that are, that are enabled in India are available out here, which is ranging from, you know, uh, giving you a loaner device for the time that your phone is not uh, repaired. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a screen uh, replacement which, which is done within a tat of four hours. Four hours? Yeah. Wait, which product are you talking about? <laughs> iPhone. Uh, really? Four hours? Yeah. Four I hours. had to let go of my phone last when I dropped it. Oh, uh, so, what you are saying is I can walk in through that door, give mm -hmm. you the phone, mm -hmm. spend some time here. Four hours is as long as I take to write three emails, <laughs> type in three emails, let's say. Four hours is uh, to the max. Uh, we, we, we you have must to do be it. kidding me. Four we, hours to the max? Yes. So, I can write one email and maybe get my phone back. Maybe you can continue working from here after your phone is repaired also. Because it's free. <laughs> it's free. And there will be coffee. There, there, promise there, there will, will be, be coffee, coffee as well. For sure. Alright, so what about the other partners that you have here? Uh, well, one important uh, aspect of the entire entire offering is the, our uh, AI assistant. So you don't walk, you walk in and you do not talk to a human, you talk to a machine, which is uh, very liberating in its own, uh, in its own way. Uh, you. So you walk in. If you if you here for a coffee, or you here for a device repair, or you just uh, you know here to enjoy uh, enjoy the cafe, then uh, <coughs> this thing right what's right behind me is is what we have termed as a magic mirror. And our AI assistant, uh, her name is Alicia, Alicia. sits uh, sits in this magic mirror. So I would like to give you a. You know, uh, maybe a demo of it uh, later on. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go out and have a cup of coffee. I hope you don't mind that. So why don't sure. you toil around with these people and mm. show them around Alicia and also please give them a nice enough tour of your facility. All right, so I'm going to give you a demo of Alicia who's our uh, AI assistant and you have to interact with her when you uh, come to Cafe Trezor. Welcome to Cafe Trezor. I am Alicia. Please select the relevant option from below. Can I have your name? Shoria. Hey Shoria, can you also choose the device family that you need service for? So, so I've received uh, details. a message from uh, Alicia that my with my, with my uh, token number and now we proceed for service. So this was uh, Alicia 
So these uh, these are co-working tables where we invite uh, all uh, programmers as well as collaborators to work on uh, our project Alicia as well as uh, on uh, all innovative retail tech that uh, we want uh, Cafe Resort to become as a hub of, uh, of uh, innovative retail tech. This is another zone which is our gaming zone. Currently we have an Apple TV plugged in and you can enjoy uh, you know, many games that are available on uh, Apple TV till, till, uh, till, you, have a, till you wait for your, uh, for your turn to come. And this is our experience zone plus a launch pad which we uh, want, which we, which we would use for uh, launching many new uh, consumer uh, tech products, uh, primarily on uh, music, gaming and uh, fitness. Plus, uh, this is our experience zone for, uh, for Apple. As you see, we have all, all products uh, ranging from iPhones to pads. Apple Watch and the essential accessories and uh, this is uh, where you know all the so service tokens are, uh, are, are addressed and uh, it's, it's a pretty well stacked up uh, service desk which wherein we can uh, uh, where we can uh, so where we can uh, uh, service about 10 people at a time. Do not go anywhere because meanwhile we'll continue after this short break. Welcome back after the break guys and last week we also got the great opportunity to chat with the team behind Social Alpha and get to know about few of the startups that they are backing. Let me tell you beforehand, we were so impressed by what we saw that we decided to cut today's story short. Well, because we really want to throw individual light on these innovators. But here's a quick interaction that we had with the CEO of Social Alpha. Hi guys, welcome to Versus and today Versus is in conversation with Mr. Manoj Kumar, who is the CEO of Social Alpha. Out of everything that you do, I'm going to do the picking a water drop out of the ocean wala context. So I'm just going to talk about you incubating tech startups. So we have four that you've brought today for us. What are these? So the four that we have curated and brought here are part of our assistive technologies portfolio. Uh, these are innovators and entrepreneurs who want to solve complex problem that the country has in the space of disability, right? So Bionic Yantra is India's first medical robotics company. They work, they have actually created an, a robotic exoskeleton that can be used in rehabilitation. So if you have a spinal cord injury, I hope you never have that. And you need support to walk and rehabilitate, this will help you. Right? So wow, it's a wearable exoskeleton they are working on. They have already demonstrated one version. And and uh, this is a very promising company. This is the first time in the country you have a so robotics company. In medical in the second company we have is Tactopus. You know, I really like their name, by the way. Uh, Tactopus. Tactopus. <laughs> coming up with the name, coming up with the name and branding design, is the yeah. hardest so, thing. So honestly. they are design, design students and they want to solve a big problem. So, you know, uh, for people with uh, blindness, right, uh, they can read text using Braille, Braille which yeah. is very famous. But what if you have a child who has blindness and is reading Hindi and English and history to Braille, how do you teach that person map of India or human body structure? So they have built a tactile graphics based solution where you can teach geography and biology as well, Wonderful. not just the tech. Third company we have is Bleetech, that was one of our first portfolio companies. These are two brilliant girls who have built a small Fitbit kind of a device, device. that you wear, right? it's a wearable yeah. that basically converts sound signals into skin signals and gives you information because you have hearing impairment, right? So say a mother has hearing impairment and the child is crying. How does mother know that the child, child is crying? Is, and it could, it, the child could be in genuine danger genuine as well. Danger, yeah. right? or, a, or, or an old, old couple with hearing impairment walking on the street and a car is Traffic. blowing hot. How yes. do they know? So this is a brilliant you know, concept yeah. and they actually demonstrated. There's a video, if you, you talk to them, they will share with you. Where there are uh, you know, uh, uh, a group of students who are deaf and they are being provided music through this device and they did Bharat Natyam on this stage. 
in sync in sync and and there's a video on youtube on that these are all <laughs> so these you know these are the companies the fourth company is innovation so sometimes you know what happens say somebody had a cancer of larynx right and oh, yeah. your voice box is removed it's a 1 dollar device that that can one bring, dollar $1 device that can bring you back the voice so these are high social impact So one dollar is less than seventy rupees. Yes, by the way. yes, yes. So these are startups which are creating amazing, high impact solutions for people with any kind of disability and affordable, accessible solutions for them with absolutely world class user experience. It's not that they are compromising on quality to reduce the price, right? So they are making it affordable, but they are not compromising on quality. And these are people building products in India for the world. But one minute break just for applause and clapping everyone. Uh, so these guys came up to you with ideas, and then what was your? These role? are wonderful people who have not taken, for example, placement after studying in a good college, and decided to, you know, go on this journey of entrepreneurship, building solutions. And building solutions, they are not building another payment app or another wallet. They are building solutions for people who are under four to eight crore people in this country have not been provided world class solutions that can help them in their productivity and efficiency. I still can't wrap my head around that one dollar. Yes, one dollar. So one dollar is no, less than seventy no. rupees. I have to say so it again now, and again. Now you think that if you have hundreds of entrepreneurs and innovators who build solutions for disability, any kind of disability, and they are supported through incubation in building their companies and taking these products to actually people who need these products, right? Yeah. You are talking about enabling almost a million people. A year. Before I get you to talk about Mr. Tata, I want to tell you a very crazy fact. Once I was taking a flight from Mumbai to Delhi, I guess, and he was sitting in the first row of economy class. So I think that's the groundedness of him that helps you guys. So what is the involvement of Tata Trust and all of this? Tata Trust is the biggest sponsor of Social Alpha, and uh, Government of India, another biggest sponsor for Social Social Alpha. Now other foundations have started supporting us. Corporate CSR has started supporting us. Uh, but yeah, we could not have started if it was not for Tata Trust. Yeah. But thank you so much, sir, for introducing us to well, majorly the entire Social Alpha portfolio. But these four people, I might go and have a chat yes, with them. Yes, please. They are wonderful people. I love all of them. Thank you so much for giving time to us. Thank, thank, thank you so much for coming on board for NDT Mob Life. Thank, thank you. you. Have a great day. Thank you. What a wonderful time to be alive. There are real problems to deal with, real people that you can help and affect, absolutely real people who are powerful enough to cause change. But all they do is play with color balance. And yet, there are people like Mr. Kumar and Mr. Tata who are relentlessly pursuing technological innovations for a better tomorrow. Aren't you excited? I am as much for tomorrow as for the next verses. See you again next week.